movie on the 13 story tree house which is by Andy Griffiths illustrated by Terry Denton and the back says Andy and Terry's 13 story tree house is the most amazing tree house in the world it's got a bowling alley, a see-through swimming pool, a tank full of man-eating <laughs> sharks, a giant catapult, a secret underground lab, labator, laboratory, and a marshmallow machine that follows you around and shoots marshmallows into your mouth whenever you're hungry. Well, what are you waiting for? Come on up! There, there's the main deck. You can see a bit of the C3 swimming pool. There. I got this book from the bookshop in Darwin. And there's a games room, which is in the, the story. There's a lemonade fountain. I think that's from Obsfus. Obsfus. I'm not sure what it's called, like, but it has a telescope, there's the giant catapult, it's a story about a tree house that is 13 stories high, and stories high is like, in a house, stories high is like how many levels there are in a house. And I really think this is a really good book. I think it's a really good book because when you get later on in the story, around the middle somewhere in the story, there's um, a sea monster in the story and later on after that there's um, a Terry who has, um, who ordered sea monkeys in the first place but it, for the first time it came a um, mermaid and then Later on, after they they think it she, it's a mermaid in this book, and, but actually, after one or two sentences after, no, I think it's the next chapter after. There's a sea. That's when the sea monster comes, and she wants to eat Andy and Terry. But the next time when they, when the sea monkey company sent Terry more sea monkeys, they came, um, not sea monkeys, but real monkeys. And he hates real monkeys. And then there's um, a giant banana and Terry hypnotizes the monkeys with the giant banana, the giant banana, and then in the giant catapult, they send the monkeys and the giant banana far, far away in the giant catapult. They just put the giant banana in in case they would come back for it, but then there comes a uh, giant gorilla that comes and it, uh, we, they think that it's probably come. <laughs> they think it's probably come for more giant bananas and they think that it made, it probably made a giant boat out of the giant banana peel and 
that because he loved it. Because the giant gorilla loved the giant banana so much, he built um, a giant boat for himself with a giant banana peel and he uses his the smell of his giant ban, giant gorilla smell he uses his giant gorilla smell to track them down to track down where they were and he came to get them and when all of that's finished they have to they have to in this story Andy and Terry are writers and they have to write a story for their publisher what I think about this book is that it's really good and if I had to give it a rating out of 10, it would be a 10 out of 10, because I really loved it. Sometimes I was a bit nervous to keep reading. At some times where it was a bit scary. Sometimes I was really excited. So it was all scary, happy, but in the end it was all great and I never regretted reading it. I would probably regret it if I didn't read it because it's such a good book. There are more in the Story Treehouse collections. After this it's the 26 Story Treehouse, then it's the 39 Story Treehouse. Then I can't remember the next ones, but I really, really want to read them all. And I'm thinking about maybe reading some other books by Andy Griffiths and Terry Denton. Just let me show you a page. Some of the they're the books they've written. There's what Bamosaur is that? Um, there's just discussed. There's a series, another series by Andy Griffiths and Terry Denton. The um the there's like just tricking, just stupid. Just shocking. There's lots of them, but there's heaps of them by Andy Griffiths and Terry Denton. Mm. Give this book a 10 out of 10, a thumbs up, and please give a thumbs up to me, and please remember to subscribe. Thank you!